So we've been on the road for about six weeks now, all over Europe and outside of Europe. We started our journey here in Lesbos, Greece, where you have one of the largest migrant camps in all of Europe called Moria, and also some of the most active NGOs, which we decided to infiltrate during our visit. We then took a boat over to the coastline of Turkey and night after night stayed up and tried to find the migrants getting onto the ships to Europe. From there, we drove up to the Turkish-Bulgarian border where we were actually arrested and detained for 10 hours, but you'll hear a bit more about that in the documentary. We then flew over to Bulgaria where we met with a militia who see their work as guarding the front door to Europe and all of Europe's future. We then flew from Bulgaria over to Brussels where we met with very politicians who are making or breaking this mass migration crisis. From Brussels, we took a train down to Paris where we wanted to find out exactly what happens when these migrants actually get to the cities and the countries that they are so desperately trying to come to and just how this is affecting the culture of these places and how it is changing the landscape. From Paris, we flew down to the southernmost tip of Spain, which has become a hotbed for migration since Salvini and the Italians closed down their shorelines. Then from Spain, we went down to Morocco and spent days and nights just patrolling the coastline and trying to find exactly where these boats are coming from and who is responsible. And in fact, we did get one of the first ever interviews with a human trafficker. It has been a crazy adventure and it's not even done yet, but I'm very excited to tell you that we're about to give you a great sneak peek of our upcoming documentary, Borderless. Let's follow them down. Open the door. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to those who have supported and made this project possible so far. There's still a long way to go with editing and a few more locations we want to visit. And we have really, every dime that has been donated to us, it has gone into improving the quality. It has gone into intensive research, getting fixers, making sure Borderless is completely 
phenomenal and above all the other content that you've seen on this platform that I've done before. But there's still so much we really want to do. There are more stories we want to pursue. There are more traffickers, more NGOs, more all of this we want to look into and expose. But we can only do that with your support. So if you want to help make this project possible, please check out the links below to see how you can support the Borderless Project and exposing the truth of the migrant crisis in Europe. Thank you so much once again, and I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek.